Good morning, Year 11. Hmm, you horrible children. Not doing your holiday homework. Thank you to those who have booked in this morning and got themselves onto a, uh, a group. These groups were set up for holidays, so you had some time to work on it. However, we are now spending the next fortnight getting this organised. Okay, so you need to be in a group. Circulation, respiration, digestion, excretion. Circulation and respiration are basically already taken. Um, there's enough people in both of those. Uh, once digestion and excretion are full, I might take um, requests, but really need all those four presented. Um, for those who were in my class last year, we did something similar. You looked at a, a group of organisms and told me how they met the requirements of life. It's the same sort of idea. I'm asking you to think about what we've been studying, investigate it a bit further, reinforce your knowledge, and then share and teach others. Okay, so it's, there's a lot of reason we're doing this. Okay, I've got, there's a plan in place. You've got six questions to answer when you present, prepare your presentation. Your presentation is going to be put up on um, the forum, the class forum, not your group forum, so the whole class forum at the end, at the start of um, week three. And I'm going to ask you to all watch at least two and give peer assessment. So give some back, some feedback to the groups. And so when you're thinking about feedback, I'll get a rubric out to you, but when you're thinking about feedback, these are the six questions you should be including in your presentation. These are six questions you wanted answered when you're looking at someone else's too. So what specialized cells might be present in the particular body system? What function might they have? How have their structures been adapted to achieve that function? So that structure and function stuff I keep banging on about. So we think circulation, well, red blood cells are the obvious, aren't they? It's a red blood cell. It's a specialized part that carries oxygen out to the um, cells and carbon dioxide back to the lungs. They're, um, they're adapted to squeeze in between all of your other cells to ensure that um, they can you know, get in close enough to all other cells as possible. So to be able to do that, they've actually lost their nucleus. And that allows them to get in close, right? It lets them squeeze in between cells. So that's sort of stuff. What other features of each of those systems is there that allows them to do that? Um, what tissues are present? So looking at obviously cells, tissues, organs to make up a system. So are there particular tissues? So you know, think about the heart. If you're looking at circulation, there's some particular tissue there. There's arteries, veins, capillaries. Okay, all that sort of stuff. Um, again, look at their structure and function. What organs make up the system? So I'm picking on circulation, but I'll, I'll keep going. So we've got heart, um, arteries, and veins and capillaries essentially are the organs that create that system. How is the surface area to volume ratio increased? Uh, so that's, that's a really important feature of all of these systems. And in the circulation, we're talking about capillaries. They allow that blood to get in contact with all those other cells. How does your system connect with other systems of the body? So circulation and respiration connecting together, don't they? We're looking at gas exchange as part of this. But they also wrap around, the, the, our circulation system wraps around our digestive system to gain all the nutrients and energy we've taken in and plugs into the excretory system because it wants to get rid of all the wastes, you know, so it's not acting in isolation. Um, and then what is a particular malfunction of the system that can lead to a biological, biological consequence? So you can read disease if you like, this is a VCAR language, and describe how this malfunction can be treated. So again, we'll talk about circulation. The heart's the obvious one, isn't it? Heart has, we have valve problems, we have blocked arteries, uh, the heart muscle starts to die. So there's all sorts of things that happen to the heart that cause people to have diseases which are life-threatening. Can they be treated? How? Um, so find one of those for each of the organ systems. It's not hard, there's always something. Um, and hopefully this is gonna help. We'll get together, <coughs> together now next week and have a bit of a chat online. Uh, via Zoom, but hopefully that gets you going at the moment. I was hoping we get started over the holidays so we didn't spend quite so much of our term time, um, but well, who knows what's going to happen in the future, eh? it's all up in the air. Um, I'll try and organise cracks when I can that you can do at home. Really hard for year 11 biology because you're dealing with animals and plants and diseases and things. 
So it's pretty hard to do safely, but I'll see how I can go. Um, keep in touch. Reach out. Let me know what's going on. Okay, I'm here to help, not to harass you. At the moment, I feel like harassing you because you didn't do your whole homework, but I'll get over it. Um, chat soon.